Hello friends, my name is Jyoti and I am assistant professor in School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. In the uh, series of video lecture of retail management, our next topic is store record and accounting system. Means uh, whatever the objective the retail outlets or the retailers are basically carrying out uh, that is to earn profit and to maximize it, but without recording and without uh, maintaining a proper accounting of uh, the, those transactions or those records uh, which are uh, happening in uh, terms of money that should be required by that is basically a crucial aspect for the retail manager or the store manager. So, uh, the topic that we are now uh, I am going to uh, make you people understand and now we will have a discussion about the store record and accounting system and it is one of the important or crucial aspect uh, as per the perspective of a store manager or retail manager that should be taken care of while uh, operating or while channelizing or while uh, doing the activities under the store. Means the firstly, we will uh, cover obviously this topic is divided into two uh, important aspects. The first one is store records and the second one is accounting system. So, uh, the uh, firstly, we will cover uh, the first as, uh, part of the particular topic that is store records. So, uh, what do you mean by store records? Store records are basically the documents which enable the organization to determine the movement of goods Me means it is basically a type of uh, written document which uh, holds or which uh, uh, contains uh, the re record of or detailed description about the movement of the physical stock means uh, how many quantities are being purchased by the store and how many things are going out of the store all these uh, things about the movement of the uh, goods that is being recorded in this particular document. And store records are basically the physical documents required to be maintained by the retailer. Why it is required and why it should be done by the retailer because uh, he or she is able to know about the ability of the merchandise, availability of the product uh, that the store has means accordingly buying seeing this type of records a retailer can take decision accordingly that. Uh, whether uh, means which type of product uh, should be uh, purchased or uh, uh, lack of uh, availability. So, accordingly decision can be taken in order to fulfill uh, the gap that has been arise in the quantity of that product category. So, uh, store records are basically those documents which should be taken care of by the retailer and it is it should be maintained in order to know the movement of the goods. Uh, that are holded by the retail store manager in a particular store. So, uh, obviously uh, the records are maintained, but the next question is how many types of record or yeah, which type of records must be maintained by the store manager or the storekeeper uh, for knowing the movement of the goods. So, these are the various, various records which must be maintained by the store manager or the retailer for, uh, for knowing the or for uh, basically handling the availability uh, the merchant available merchandise in a very smooth manner in an easy manner. The first one is basically the bin cart, second is receipt of materials, third one issue of materials, next is store accounting. So, we will have a discussion on these type of uh, methods one by one. So, the first one is basically the bin card. Bin card is basically a card which is attached to each bin means rack, shelf or other container for the store, a record of all materials entering or leaving the bin and the balance of material in hand in this particular card means this particular card is basically uh, attached with the shelf or the rack where the store product are stored and that particular bin uh, card is having the information about the inflow and outflow of the goods that that particular shelf or the rack, rack is having. So, uh, these cards are basically entered by the storekeeper and only the quantities are recording as I told earlier that whatever the movement of the uh, product that are being kept in that particular shelf or rack that is being uh, recorded or that has been supervised by the store manager and only the quality quantities not quality the quantities of the product uh, are being uh, recorded by the store manager. 
they should tally with the quantities of the material means whatever the bin card is having information about the available stock in that particular cell for rack that should be checked out or that should be tallied with the availability uh, detail information available in the store ledgers means it must match with the information given by the store ledgers. The store ledgers are basically a type of document in which uh, the availability of the goods are stored and it is uh, stored in basically a type of software uh, or a proper docu document, uh, a proper documentation is being done for uh, knowing or for having the information about the availability of different materials or the product in the particular store. So, each bin card uh, is having a different uh, quantity of product and whatever the quantities uh, that particular bin card is having that must be checked out with the information availability, uh, available in the particular store laser. And this will enable the storekeeper to set in the quantity, uh, qu quantity of any material in stock and remind him to requisition, uh, requisition of fresh stock with the minimum stock has been reached. Means when uh, by seeing the bin card, the retail manager is able to know the uh, movement of uh, product holding in uh, holding by that particular rack or shelf if the product if a particular product quantity is basically uh, uh, in, uh, has been in uh, decreases. So, accordingly uh, the store manager can uh, uh, take order from uh, the uh, warehouse and uh, accordingly uh, that particular vacant place or the number of quantities should be fulfilled with uh, the particular order. So, uh, bin card basically gives partic uh, a very important or crucial information to the store manager about the product quantity holding by a particular shelf, holding by a particular rack or holding by a particular container. So, that a retailer just uh, is just able to know about uh, the availability of the merchandise of a particular product category and uh, in this way he or she can take decision in a very corrective manner about the availability of the product. So, that uh, whenever a customer comes with the requirement of the product that requirement must, must be met with the availability of the product and that uh, uh, that requirement should not be met with a vacant place or a customer just switch the preferences towards other product category or other outlet. So, it is very required and this particular uh, store, uh, store record gives a crucial information or very important uh, information in a very easy manner. Means by seeing the bin card you just able to know you do not require to open one computer or one software and go to a particular excel sheet and know about the availability of the product. By seeing the bin card you are able to know the availability of the merchandise on the particular shelf on the particular the bin means our store is having different types of yeah, uh, different uh, shelves, many shelves and many shelves and racks and containers having different bin cards. So, si uh, by seeing only bin card you as retailer are able to see uh, or able to find out the availability of the merchandise in that particular shelf or the rack. This is basically the example or the format of basically bin card. The first uh, one having division department, item name, item code. And this is uh, the chart in which information is being recorded by the store manager means a date in and out detail, balance detail, notes means a special uh, uh, something uh, should be written in uh, in one transaction that should be written under note and the signature means who has who is responsible for this particular transaction that uh, uh, that transaction uh, means a particular person must. Uh, sign that particular transaction so that is signature part. It is basically the format of the bin card that is, uh, that is very easy to maintain and it is very easy to check out the availability of the merchandise by seeing the bin card. The second one is receipts of uh, materials. Material is basically received in the store from outside suppliers obviously, suppliers means uh, our business entity which uh, makes available the product to the retailers with the purpose to sell out to the individual customer or to the concerned customers. And uh, materials is, uh, material is received in the store from production department too and various department has a return of material or material return note. When a purchase order placed a copy is sent to the stores, this helps in planning necessary arrangement for receipts like unloading etcetera. Means uh, whenever you uh, as a store manager or, or retailer you received a order uh, accordingly you can just check out or uh, you can just plan out about the necessary arrangement or necessary course of action that should be uh, 
that should be taken by you in order to fulfill or in order to handle the merchandise that you are having in the store. Uh, these are uh, the next uh, the given steps are basically uh, in the sequence uh, you can just go through how these uh, material of receipts are being uh, taken care of by the retailers. Second one is when the material is dispatched by the supplier its intimation is also received in the store and uh, which gives the information about the date of uh, the uh, re receiving, uh, receiving of the material means on what particular date that store manager or that retailer will get that product and uh, get that order. On receipt of supply it is tallied from the purchase order means whatever the order uh, is given by the concerned department it must be tallied that the order that has been received by the store the product is having in the same way as the purchase order has been given to the uh, concerned supplier or the production department. And dispatch intimation is also given to the concerned uh, material department so that they just get ready with the cash so that ke accordingly supplier can be given payment for the for the order that they have delivered to the store. After physical verification store received vouchers uh, called SRVs are prepared and sent to the inspection department means uh, if the tallies uh, if uh, the purchase order with the tally with the sale uh, with the receipt of the order uh, uh, that particular uh, uh, that particular voucher is sent to the inspection department for uh, inspecting the or uh, for having a supervision or uh, look of uh, the order that has been received by the store means that has been written obviously uh, after inspection of material if it is acceptable inspection department records the certificate on SRV and return back to the store with intimation to the purchase and accounts department. Means uh, if also, uh, the inspection de department also finds that whatever the order that the store has received in it, it is the same way as the purchase order has been given to the concerned supplier uh, that, uh, that consignment or that product has been or that assortment is given uh, re return back to the store for uh, the particular purpose means uh, to sell out them uh, those uh, merchandise and also give a intimation to the purchase department and accounts department why it is being done because obviously the supplier also requires uh, the payment of those uh, quantity that they uh, he or she has delivered to the concerned store. So uh, that particular intimation is also given to the account department so that accordingly payment can be done by the accounts department and the store department send the material to the custody rejected material means uh, if uh, some uh, merchandise or some stocks got uh, rejected or uh, found in damages form. So, uh, they kept until they kept in the rejected cell until uh, they are returned to the supplier or replaced by him means the fresh stock can be uh, just uh, revert back or just dispatched to the store for stocking or for displaying those merchandise and if the store is having uh, if the store or the store manager finds some rejected materials so they uh, are being kept they must be kept with uh, the in the rejection sale so accordingly uh, when the time come those reject rejected merchandise can be returned back to the concerned supplier or the con concerned department so basically uh, Receipt of material uh, record help the retail manager or the store manager in this particular way means uh, by uh, having a record of receipt of material a store manager or retailer is just uh, able to know about uh, the purchase order about the order that they have been that they have placed to the suppliers that they get the uh, same quantity or same material or same uh, condition uh, or not if they found that it, it has not happened so accordingly uh, they just return it back and they can uh, somehow by doing this they can somehow reduce their cost aspect too. So, it is one of the record that must be maintained by the store manager in order to know uh, in order to basically work on the cost aspect that they are going to give payment to the concerned supplier. The third one is issue of materials. Materials are issued only on the receipt of properly authorized withdrawal form and uh, which is usually called material issue requisition form or a store issue voucher as uh, we have discussed earlier a voucher which, uh, which is having a authentication of uh, issuing uh, the product category. On receipt of SIVs store department issue the materials and record the quality uh, quantities dispersed means as 
as far as the material uh, the SI, SIVs are uh, found by the concerned manager, uh, those uh, quantities must be uh, uh, disbursed as per the order, as per the receiving of the order. A copy of SIV duly entered by the store regarding issue of material is then sent to the accounts department for pricing and simultaneously they must be entered in the stock ledger so that they just have a uh, detailed information or having a record of about the product category about the uh, merchandise that they have they are going to disburse to the concerned party and one copy of SIB is sent to the department who has initiated it uh, for withdrawal of material and also one copy of SIB is given to the concerned party those who have ordered for the product category or for the uh, respective merchandise for uh, to the concern to the retailer or to the store manager. So, this particular record should also be maintained in order to know the outflow of the merchandise outflow of the quantity from the store and uh, a retail manager or a store manager should know okay, how many quantities and which type of merchandise are being going to disperse to the outsider party and should have a maintain and we should have we as store managers should have information about the uh, about the outgoing material from the stores and it is also one of the important record that should be maintained or that must be maintained by the store manager or the retailer. As we have covered uh, the one uh, the first aspect that is store record means as we have seen that there are certain methods and various methods of recording uh, the, uh, the things uh, the recording the actions which are very required and uh, there are certain recording methods which helps a retailer in knowing or in uh, making uh, basically uh, in knowing the inflow and outflow of the goods uh, so that uh, in future or in coming time or as per situation he or can uh, he or she can take decision or take necessary steps in order to fulfill the gap in order to fulfill the objective that the store or the retailer is carrying uh, with uh, itself or himself or herself. The next uh, topic is store accounting system. Uh, we must have known uh, heard and we are very much familiar about the word accounting means a system or basically a proper action which records the transactions uh, and help the company in knowing about the financial capability or financial position of that the company is in whether the company is in profit or loss. So, a store accounting system in general we can say that it is a system that helps uh, or that guides or that helps the store manager or the retailer in knowing that how the store is performing means how means is the store able to fetch the profit, is the store is able to fulfill the objective that the store is carrying. This particular system helps uh, the retailers and the store managers uh, that uh, whether they are going on a right track or not means if they are going on a right track they should just continue with that uh, with the course of action or with that particular uh, uh, activities that they are performing in the store or if they found that they are unable and they are somehow, somehow uh, not fulfilling the objective that they are carrying. So, so uh, some corrective action should be taken in order to rectify that particular action. So, uh, uh, store accounting system uh, for retail stores involved tracking sales, expenses, payable, receivables and inventory means in totality we see the uh, steps or we see the important concept like sales, expenses, payable, receivable and inventory. Obviously, uh, the store the main objective of the store is to what to earn money to earn profit and to maximize it, but how uh, it is possible. So, it is very required that a store manager just have a must have a system of accounting that should record all the transactions that are happening in the store and accordingly he or she uh, accordingly that system can give the information to the retailer to the concerned store manager that the store is in either profit or loss. So, uh, if uh, these type of systems have been introduced in a store or in retail outlets, so there must uh, are uh, there must be some objectives. So, main objectives of maintaining proper accounts are the first one is to indicate the quantity and value of the stores held. By maintaining a proper account, the store manager is able to know 
the uh, quantity of the product or the merchandise that they are holding in the store and, and also their values or the worth uh, means how much worth uh, uh, how the product how much uh, the product is uh, having worth and after selling those type of products how much profit can be fetched by the particular store or the retailer that should be known by the uh, accounting system. So, it is one of the important objective to indicate the quantity and value of store held. Second one is to provide information about value of receipts and issues. Uh, how many receipts and how much values those receipts are carrying uh, that should be uh, known by the value of the uh, receipts and the number of receipts that the store is issuing to the customers or to the concerned party that must be known by the retail manager. So, it is also one of the important objective to provide information about value and of receipt and issues. The next one is to determine order level without physically checking the store stock. The store manager just see uh, the system and he or she is just uh, able to know about the uh, availability and the scarcity of uh, the uh, merchandise and accordingly they can just uh, take decision about the ordering level means how much uh, quantity should be purchased by them in order to fulfill the uh, scarcity of the product in the store. So, by uh, having a proper record of uh, the transactions or the inventory, uh, a store manager just uh, able to know this particular information. Next is to keep account of total expenditure, obviously must be recorded by or must be known by the retail manager that how much money is ex, uh, uh, spended by the store manager in order to managing the overall store that must be compared with the overall sales. So, that the store manager can know the condition of the store that whether the store is in profit or loss. Next to provide basis for material costing. Basically, uh, accounting system helps the retail manager in knowing. Uh, that how much material should be required by, by the particular store and how much cost uh, that will in uh, that activity that purchase will incur that or that should also be known by the concerned retail manager or the store manager. So, that accordingly uh, they can take decision about the quantity or the size of the order can be determined. And next uh, is to help uh, in locating and preventing vestiges and misappropriation by uh, having or by maintaining a proper record or proper accounts of the available merchandise or the inventory, the store manager is able to know the uh, appropriate or uh, loopholes in the store means vestiges uh, are obviously there as in the earlier classes I have explained the shop lifting or the inventory shrinkage. So, accordingly he or she can find and take some corrective action in order to uh, rectify that or to keep uh, to help in keeping the level of inventory at a reasonable level. So, uh, by having a look on the uh, record of or the accounts, the store manager is just able to know about the level of in the inventory or the availability of the inventory, availability of the assortment or the merchandise in the store. So, that he or she is just having a picture that how much quantity or which type of product category in how in uh, uh, in which quant, uh, quantity uh, of which quality are having in the store that must be known by the store manager and the proper uh, uh, accounting system uh, if they have introduced in the store that the system will help you help the retailers in knowing this particular aspect too. So, these are the main objectives for uh, uh, why store accounting uh, and accounting system should be and proper account should be maintained by the store managers. Next is store accounting records, how uh, accounting helps means how which uh, how accounting can help in knowing uh, or giving information to the concerned retail manager. These are the records that accounting system is having and the uh, first one is inward and outward register, second as stock register, daily receipt register, issue register, surplus stock register, suspense register, condemned article register and the last one is loan register. So, have a discussion uh, on one by one. The first one is inward and outward register. When the material is dispatched by the supplier through rail, he will send it receipts issued by the railway authority by RR, means railway uh, receipt 
on the production of that receipt to railway material can be received by the consignee. A separate register is maintained by the storekeeper in which daily entries of R are received and made are known as inward registers. Means whatever the stocks are coming to the store uh, that must that are and that are being maintained by the store manager in a particular register that is basically called the inward register and accordingly uh, a, uh, and what amount of stock and what stock which type of stocks are going out of the organization that are also being maintained by the store manager in one register that is outward registers. The second one is stock register, stock registers are of two types, the first one is non-consumable and second one is consumable. Non-consumable registers are basically uh, having information about the non-consumable articles like uh, machinery, equipments, uh, furniture like the fixed assets of the particular outlet and consumable registers are having uh, uh, information or records uh, the information about the consumables like diesel, oil, petrol, lubricants, cotton, paints, etc. These different items are entered on different pages. Obviously, uh, the store is having different uh, consumables and every consumable is having uh, the detail of every consumable is having one particular page and all the transactions about a particular item are entered in one particular page. The next one is daily regi receipt register. Uh, this may be in a register or loose leaf form. Whenever any material comes in the store, it is entered date wise in daily re uh, receipt register. Add name itself refers that a register which records the receipt or the detail information about the daily transactions which are happening in the particular store. The next one is issue register. Uh, this may be in a register or a loose leaf form. All stores issued are entered date wise. It uh, by the store managers means whatever the uh, issues are being stocked by the uh, issues are being uh, uh, delivered by the particular store that information are being kept under uh, issue register. The next surplus stock register act name itself refers that a register is having stock or having information about the surplus stock means if uh, whenever a uh, store uh, sometimes a store basically uh, receives uh, order and some quantities are basically formed in the surplus form means excess form. So, those excess information or those information uh, which uh, related to the excess product that must be hold or that must be recorded in a particular register that register is basically surplus stock register. Next is suspense register. Suspense register means some transactions are uh, basically uh, either in vague or not clear. So, uh, that not clear or that vague information must be uh, kept under suspense register. Next is condemned article register. Condemned article uh, register is basically uh, uh, use or obsolete material which is uh, authorized to be condemned by the authorized person is entered in the register and will be shown as stock will dispose of. Next loan register. Sometimes non-consumable material is issued from the store on loan for temporary basis by the production or slip of uh, authority. If someone is borrowing uh, the things that are being uh, in the store, so though that information is being uh, kept under loan register. And these are their basically references. If you want to get more information about that, just go through it and uh, thank you.